Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to share with you the entire process of me redoing this table. So I actually changed my mind halfway through doing this. I started to sand it down and then I decided to stain the top using gel stain. And I honestly just did not love the way it looked. It was very patchy. You can't really tell in on camera because I feel like the camera just makes things look a lot nicer. Um, but the color was pulling very orange and it's just not the style I wanted to go for. Um, by the way, I already have a farmhouse table. If you guys have never been on my channel before, I did redo an old, like very, very old table. And I did a stain top in the white on the bottom. If you guys want to watch that video, I'll link it below. Um, but I started off by staining it. Like I said, I didn't love it. So I'm going to paint the entire table using the kilt chalk paint in the color Platinum Ring. give you guys another little update and just kind of show you how it's looking so obviously there are a ton of streaks I need to do some more coats but everything is looking really good so far um, I really like the color a lot I think it's gonna look really pretty especially with the chairs being white um, but I am really loving it I think it looks really great so I know y'all heard me say I was going to paint the chairs white, but then I decided to go with platinum ring on the entire table and then kind of do a like more of a rustic wash look with different color paints. So you'll see that like as I do this project, I'm kind of changing my mind and things happen like that. You just got to kind of just keep going. Um, I'm very indecisive. I am just one of those people who I make decisions and then I change my mind immediately after. It's just my personality. Um, so after painting the chair white, I like I said, I went in and painted all of the chairs platinum ring. It is the next day and the table is all painted with the platinum ring chalk paint. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. So it's all completely gray. Um, and then now I'm going to use all four of these colors and try and make like a very rustic old looking table. I was going to just leave it how it is, but it just doesn't go with anything in my house at all. It just does not match in here and I want to give it some more warm tones so I'm gonna see what I can create out of these paints what I'm gonna do is just kinda of pour them on these plates mix them together and just make my own colors 
So I am going to add some water to them as well. I seen a post where they were taking a spray bottle, spraying it on the table, and then kind of like washing on the paint. So I'm going to give that a try and just see what happens. Who knows what's going to happen. This is a project. <laughs> so I'm just going to go for it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pour my paints on the plate. Okay, so so far I have this elephant gray um, chalk paint right here. And then I have the Waverly in the color Mineral. Um, which is this one and then I have this matte colored apple barrel nutmeg color I actually bought this a while ago so I wanted to try and see if I could add some chalk paint to it and just see what happens so I'm gonna try to lighten this brown up to like a light tan by adding in this gray or not really a tan more of like a like a medium gray color so, and it's actually working so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this elephant chalk paint. Give that a stir. I kinda want like a muted grayish brown tone. All right, so I could have easily stopped right here and just left the entire table just a light gray. But to be honest, this gray just did not match with my house. So I decided to add in some depth and add in some color. So I'm taking the paintbrush, spraying the table with a little bit of water and then doing like back and forth motions to get like more of like a wood look, um, like a washed wood. I don't know how to really explain this the best way. Um, you can look it up on Pinterest if you guys are curious on, you know, just inspiration. That's kind of what I did. I just looked on Pinterest seeing what you know, other people had as far as tables go, and I just tried to recreate it in the best way possible um, using the colors I had. Like I said, I didn't want to actually have to go to the store because obviously I'm trying to avoid going out in public. So I just took the paintbrush and went back and forth adding different colors, just kind of just adding in depth where I wanted it. And you guys will see the more I paint, the better it starts to look. So just stay with me. I know it looks a little crazy at this moment, but I promise it came together at the very end. And I feel like, you know, it's something a little out of my comfort zone. It's not something I would usually paint myself, but I am proud of myself for sticking to it and not giving up and just keep going. And that's the thing with projects. Um, sometimes you'll get halfway through and then you just won't like it and you'll just want to give up. But I've said it before on my channel, when it comes to doing projects, you have to keep going because what you are looking at is what you're seeing all the flaws, you know? And I've noticed that recently I've been really hard on myself when it comes to projects. I just get really discouraged. I always feel like, you know, it's just not good enough or I could have done better. But I got to stop, you know, hating on myself and start embracing the process. I'm learning. I am not a, you know, professional at restoring tables or painting tables. I am just like you guys, just trying to, you know, restore furniture and paint stuff on my own rather than going out and buying it like this. So, you know, it's all a process and I am learning and I am sure I'll get better the more I do. So I'm trying to give you guys like an up close on how I'm doing this. So I'm just dipping my brush into these like random colors. I'm kind of using more of the darker shade and then kind of just brushing it off and kind of dabbing a little bit into that lighter brown or like lighter tone. They're all dark, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going like that, brushing it off, and then I'm very lightly just brushing it on randomly just like that trying to stay in the same direction so it doesn't look messy and then picking up more whenever it's necessary and just adding a couple darker highlights in some areas like this I'm trying to get all the way up to the um, corner so they don't look blank and then what I'm doing is taking my towel spraying it with water 
like that and then just wiping it off so just like that just to kind of help blend it in a little bit all right, so now moving on to the chairs. This part was a little challenging, especially on the seat area because where the back of the chair um, meets the seat part, it's really rounded around the corners and it's really hard to get in there and make it look very seamless. And I just, I had a really difficult time around those edges. So in just a little bit, you'll see that I actually add some white paint just to kind of make it look a lot more natural and not so splotchy around those little rounded edges but right here I am just adding the brown and gray paint just mixed together all over and then I will be taking my wet towel and rubbing everything in to make it look seamless. So whenever I'm taking the, um, the towel and wiping it off I am trying to keep it in the same direction that I painted the paint on it just to kind of make it really appear as wood grain. That is like the whole point in painting this on is to give it a really rustic um, look without having to use stain. So I didn't want to have to sand all these chairs down um, or go out and buy anything else. I just, you know, changed my mind halfway through the project and decided that I wanted to go a different route. So that's how, you know, this whole process came about with me painting it with all these colors. And I wanted to tell you guys that um, a lot of the inspiration for this table was actually from whenever I went house hunting. I went into a house that was fully decorated and they had a farmhouse um, like like rustic chic looking table that looked just like this and I just loved it and I told my husband when it, if we did put an offer on that house I was gonna request that they left the table because it was just so beautiful so I really wanted to re recreate something like that and just see if I could do it and I feel like I did a pretty good job I mean there's things I would have changed along the way if I could go back um, obviously that's just part of the learning process but I am super proud of myself for sticking to it and just going for it even though this isn't something I would normally do So at this point I realized the chairs were a lot more white than the tabletop so I went back in with some white paint and just painted on some streaks um, here and there just to give it some more depth and to make it match the chairs. Okay, so now I'm going over the chairs and the table using the Minwax Polyacrylic in the clear satin finish. I will have everything listed below in the description box in case you missed anything. Um, but I am just using a foam brush to apply this and to me it's just the easiest way to add the polyacrylic to any surface. It's very smooth and it just goes on seamless so that's why I like to use it. And you'll notice that the chairs look a little different outside than they do inside, and that is just because of the lighting. Um, lighting is everything in a house, so just keep in mind that what you just seen outside, it actually does match the table. It is just a lot whiter and brighter outside because of the bright light. So um, anyway, I'm just going on the table with the polyacrylic using very um, light brush strokes. You don't want to rub very hard because then it'll just pick up the paint you're going to go very light handed and you're going to do very light coats and I like to let these dry at least you know 30 minutes to an hour before adding another coat now it does say to let it dry for two hours in between coats I've never had to wait that long polyacrylic dries extremely fast and I feel like I've never had an issue coating it before that just always test do a test area if you can just to make sure um, you don't want to go over your whole table and get to the finish line and then accidentally mess up with the sealant I feel like the sealant is the hardest part for most people um, just because when you if you've never worked with any type of sealer you don't really know what to expect and that's why I always recommend polyacrylic it's the easiest to use out of all the sealers I've ever tried and I've used lacquer I have used polyurethane um, and many other ones I've used wax and so far out of everything I would say that the polyacrylic is my all-time favorite and it holds up well so I did forget to mention that I do four coats of the polyacrylic and that is just to make sure that it is sealed very well that way I can use um, cleaners on it and not have to worry you can do more coats if you want but I feel like personally four coats is enough 
So now I just wanted to give you guys some up close looks of how the table is and all the different tones and colors. And there were some areas that, you know, probably could have used a little bit more love, but that is just the beauty of doing a DIY project. They're not going to be perfect. They're going to, going to have character and just be a little different, but I really love how they look up close with the brown tones, the white and the gray. It just looks just so different different than anything I've ever seen and I've never seen any table like this so it's very unique which is awesome so anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed I really appreciate you watching I am so sorry I have been kind of MIA recently on my YouTube channel but I really just needed to take a break um, from uploads and just you know embrace life right now and all the craziness so Anyway, thank you again for watching. I truly appreciate every one of you, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.